Hi everyone, John Paul Briones here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your website using Softaculous. Begin by logging into your cPanel. If you don't know how to do that, a pop-up will appear in the top right. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your cPanel. Once you've logged in, scroll down to the software section and click the Softaculous Apps link. Once you're there, we're going to click All Installations on the top, which is this little file folder. And keep in mind, you can only back up applications in Softaculous that are in Softaculous. If you didn't install it, you can import it into Softaculous. If you want to know how to do that, a pop-up will appear on the top right. Click that to go to our full guide on how to import an installation into Softaculous. At this point, you should see any of your installations listed for software that you have in Softaculous. In my case, I'm backing up this example.com site. It's a WordPress site. So to the right, I'm going to go over to this little image here. And if you mouse over, it'll say backup. And it has a little green arrow and a file. Let's go ahead and click that backup link. Here it's going to give you the option if you want to back up the directory or back up the database. In my case, I'm going to back up both, so I'm going to leave both of these boxes checked. You could put a note here if you want. In, um, a lot of times I'll just say what date I'm doing the backup, or I can say it's an incremental backup before I did an upgrade or something like that, just to remind yourself later what the backup was for. Uh, I'm just going to put this as a test. And then scroll to the bottom. It gives you a little bit of information about your installation. And I'm going to go ahead and click the backup installation now. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to differ based on how big your website is. So if it's a lot of files, a lot of database files and stuff like that, then it's going to take a little bit more time to complete the backup. Once it's done, though, you'll see this message saying the backup was created successfully. And it'll tell you how to access it is by going to this backups page. So I'm going to go ahead and click this link at this point so you can see the backup. It'll bring you to this page right here. And notice there's a backup here. It's a .tar.gz, meaning it's compressed. You can click this to download it. You can also click the download link over here. And to get to this backups page, you can actually click this little button here, which is the little looks like a little zipper. Clicking that will bring you to this backups page if you ever want to get here again. If you have multiple backups, backups available, they will be listed here. And at this point, I'm going to actually go back to the cPanel, and I just want to show you that you can also access the file directly in your file system. So let's go ahead and click the Go to Control Panel link here. I'm going to scroll down to the Files section, and I'm going to open the File Manager. And there's going to be a .softaculous folder here. Go ahead and click that. Notice that there's a backups folder within there. Open that, and you'll see the backup also listed there. Thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Feel free to like this video or comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.